Hey, hello everyone. This is Jonathan Asley. And today is the first edition of a new series of Facebook Lives I'm gonna be doing. This is episode one of Everything You've Learned About Relationships is Wrong. And today we're gonna to talk about assumptions, but before I get into this, I just wanna share with you why I'm doing this. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, um, I'm a dating and relationship coach. I specialize in midlife, and midlife is for those folks after baby making years and before retirement. So if you're 42 or six, between 42 and 69, you're in the right place. And truthfully, if you, again, if you don't know me, I am in a, I'm fascinated with human behavior. I'm fascinated with ma mating rituals. I'm completely obsessed with how people mate. I keep saying mate because this is what it's all about. It's mating. And and I've made some immense and some huge observations over the years based on the dating and relationship industry. And frankly, it's a multi, multi-billion dollar industry and there's no accident for that. And, and quite frankly, that's why I got involved. I got involved because I wanted to make money. Truthfully, I did. Um, in an area where I thought I had a little bit of expertise. And over the years, I've developed a tremendous amount of knowledge in the area of dating and relationships. And that's why I share what I observe. Here's the thing. There's no such thing as right or wrong. It's either effective or ineffective for you. And my hope is that the content I share with you helps you become more effective when it comes to meeting men, meeting women, all those sorts of things, finding the relationship you want. So why I call this everything you learned about relationships is wrong is because we've been, I, I say we, please forgive me, I'm, I should say just me, but I'm, I'm generalizing here. I think we've been raised with this fantasy about, you know, Disney and The Notebook and Serendipity and all these movies that relationships are just easy. It just magically happen that they're so darn easy that finding someone is going to be really, really easy. Well, Come on, let's get real. It's a crock of shit. And so it's time to go deeper. It's time to be curious, you know? And I and let's face it, there's a whole industry that specializes in this area of being curious about relationships. And there's a gazillion books out there. Look, there's books like Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. There's books like The Real Reasons Why Men Commit. Here's a really good one. The 101 Lies Men Tell Women. This is really good for helping, you know, build healthy esteem with men. This is a junk, by the way. Um, here's a great one, Dating for Dummies. And lastly, here's one from a schmuck, Understand, understand Men Now, The Relationships You Commit to and Why. This is mine, okay? It's a big industry, trying to give advice. So I want to explore all the advice out there. And what I really want to explore is the preconceived notions that we've had that's been passed down to us from generation to generation. So that's what everything you learned about relationships is wrong is going to be about. And this is what we're going to talk about. My hope is to do two or three Facebook Lives a week. So just stay tuned. I'll try to do them around this time, 5 o'clock, um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, something like that. So let's just jump into it right now. And I say assumptions. Let's talk about assumptions. Well, what does assume mean? It means making an ass out of you and me. There are these huge assumptions around dating, mating, or relating. And the first one, the first biggies, these two, are people know what they want and people know how to have a healthy relationship. Think about this. People date, I'm sorry, I'm gonna generalize here, but so many of you do this with this idea that people know what they want. And this is especially true when it comes to this idea that men are the leaders of a relationship. I want you to think, now keep in mind, my audience is midlife, so for those in their 20s and 30s, that's a whole different conversation. But let's be real, ladies, you know this about men. I hear the words, you know, let's be, there's a book. The real reasons why men commit. Why is there a book like that? Because you've been told over and over that men are commitment foe, men are emotionally unavailable. You're hearing this time and time again. And truthfully, it's not just men. 
women are equally commitment phobic and emotionally unavailable. So this isn't just one gender, this is both. By the way, I get very passionate about this, so please forgive me if I don't seem compassionate around this, okay? So this assumption that people know what they're doing and that's idea that men should lead the relationship process. Well, I keep telling my clients, you're giving the job to the wrong person. I don't care whether you're a man or a woman, you are in charge of your relationship destiny. Please don't give that job to somebody else. Be in charge of your relationship destiny. That's one of the first principles I teach for every client. So now the second assumption is that everybody is emotionally healthy. I mean, come on, let's get real. Do you know why it's called midlife crisis? Midlife crisis is this is when we start to really internally implode. We start asking ourselves, who are we? What do we want? And But what worse is our childhood wounds start to surface and bubble. So as people get older, they are more emotionally fucked up. And you know this, right? You know this, but you kind of have these blinders on assuming that everybody is healthy. Actually, what's interesting, and this is, this is again a stupid generalization, but most men operate as if women are crazy. I mean, it's true, there's this video out there called The Crazy Matrix, and it goes through an alliteration of how crazy women are. That's the way men operate, we make that assumption already. But what I'm really talking about is in this dating process, you have to be really, okay, I say you, let me backtrack. I would like to suggest and recommend that you be really conscious to this idea of, are you meeting an emotional grown-up? And what I mean about an emotional grown-up, is this a person that can express their feelings, needs, wants, and desires in a healthy way? And if there's differences, can they communicate there's differences in a healthy way? That to me is what an emotional grown-up is. So this has got to be on the forefront of your dating mindset before you ever start putting yourself out there. And let me tell you why. Because this is another reason why everything you long learned about relationships is wrong. Attraction doesn't equal relationship success. Chemistry does not equal relationship success. Let me repeat that. Attraction doesn't equal relationship success. And yet, almost the entire dating industry is so overly focused on attraction, and they spend so little time talking about the three most important things you need to have in your mindset before you ever go out on a first date. Ah, I bet you're wondering what they are, aren't you? <laughs> That's something I teach in my private coaching, but I'll go ahead and share it anyway. I teach my clients how to get crystal clear in these three areas, and that is recognizing shared values, determining, number two, <laughs> determining if you can blend lives, and number three, are you with an emotional grown-up? Now, since I specialize helping women understand men, I've created an entire workbook designed to help you to really vet and screen if you're with somebody who's an emotional grown-up. This is so highly important. And let's face it, you can follow the other approach that other dating coaches recommend. Go out, have a good time, just be light, be fluffy, be airy, don't be real. And then six weeks later, you'll figure out whether or not you're with a jerk or not, or an asshole, or an emotionally unavailable person. So the cream will rise to the top. And yet, here's what's happened. You've invested six weeks of your heart only to find, and get attached to an individual only to find out that they're incapable of being in a healthy relationship. And for those ladies who are watching, I just want you to know this is equally true. Many women are not emotionally healthy to be in a relationship as well, even though the skew is always against men. This is just as equal with women. Okay, why am I sharing all this with you? First off, I want you to be curious, but be curious beyond the attraction phase. Be curious about the bigger picture. I did a post the other day that said, when I date, I think long-term, not short-term. And I got a lot of flack for that. And first off, it doesn't mean when you date someone, you set an agenda that they're long-term. The idea is, Either You're either one of two people. You either seek a long-term relationship or you're just in it to have a good, good time and then you'll see where it goes. 
Personally, I think that's bunk because that, Let's be real. The minute you start to interact with another human being, you can get really attached. And it sucks when it doesn't work out. So it's better to have more of a long-term mindset. And again, I can help you kind of ferret that out, what that looks like for you. That's where my expertise shines, is helping you really get crystal clear on who you are, what you want from this long-term perspective, so you can eliminate all the wrong people very quickly. Be curious, that's the first thing I said. And the second thing, I want you to have compassion. <sighs> have compassion for those people out there who are not emotionally healthy. I, there's so much criticism, there's so much blame, and that is so fucking unhealthy. I'm sorry, I'm gonna use the F word on that one. Please shift to compassion for everybody who's out there doing their best. And lastly, have compassion for yourself. Really practice that internal forgiveness because we are human and we make mistakes. All right, I can go on and on and on, but I want to create a series. So I'll come up with the next idea in a couple of days. But this is Everything You Learned About Relationships is Wrong, episode one. I'm Jonathan Asley, your midlife in midlife dating and relationship coach. I hope you found value. And if you liked what I shared, please start a conversation right here. Ask questions. Let's get a dialogue going. Also, please share this with your friends. And if you want to learn more, just come to my website at jonathanasley.com. I've got a fantastic group called Midlife Love Mastery for those women who really want to step it up to their next level of conscious coupling. So again, get some conversation going. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you, and I'm going to end with a big, gigantic bear hug from all, to all of you. Thanks so much. Bye now.